And unfortunately for us, this is something we may have to contend with as we move our way through the next couple of days. The plains in the Midwest, that's going to be the area under the gun, being aware of that stormy weather, being aware and abreast of the weather situation because things are going to get really, really scary over the next few days. North Platte for us, we've got a Torcon value of four out of 10, so about a 40% chance of dealing with a tornado within a 50 mile radius, and your time is going to be as we get into the late afternoon and then into tonight. Now, right now, heading on into Oklahoma City, you can see things are pretty quiet. There are a few showers out there for us, but certainly nothing severe at this point. Point. Not even dealing with much in the way of thunderstorm activity, just some lighter showers moving on through at this hour. But we do anticipate things to really get fired up a little bit later on today. So what's coming together out there for us? Well, we've got the moisture that's flowing its way out of the Gulf of Mexico. There's our storm system as well here in the middle of the country. And then we've got this upper jet that's going to be blasting its way east. So as the, all of those things come together this afternoon, tonight and into our Sunday, we really start to see that severe weather threat ramping up out there for us. And we're talking about all those threats, damaging winds, hail, and yes, even tornadoes out there for us. As you saw there, a four out of 10 there in North Platte on your Torcon scale. So that's something we'll be watching very, very closely here for us as we work our way at least into that second half of the weekend. We're going to re really be watching for these areas here right in the middle of the nation for that greater risk for those storms. So again, knowing what you're going to do now before the storms start erupting. Julie? Good advice there. Thank you, Alex. You know, with the active weekend already on tap, our Tornado Hunt crew is on the road. They started this morning in Wichita, Kansas. Mike Bettis and Dr. Greg Forms are in Salina now. The Tornado Hunt team has resumed the chase today in Kansas and looking for a pretty volatile setup in many parts of Nebraska, Kansas, down through the plains. And let's get some expert opinion on what happens today with our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. You like the setup today? I do. This initial morning clouds will hold things uh, down until they burn off in the afternoon. Then things should explode by late afternoon. Uh, and uh, we have uh, pretty strong low-level winds that will fuel the storms. Low-level jet, about 5,000 feet, expected to be about 50 miles per hour. So a lot of low-level shear, so that'll allow some of the storms, especially the initial ones, to rotate. Uh, huge amounts of instability today. There'll be, we may have to dodge some softball-sized hail. A couple of things that we look for, you know, that's shear, lift, instability, and moisture. Uh, we have enough moisture. I mean, to dew yeah. points right now are mid to upper 60s, yeah. so that's not a problem. Will we get enough uh, upward motion in the atmosphere to really build some tall thunderstorms today? Yeah, it certainly looks like it. We're beginning to get the leading edge of a several-day upper air disturbance. It comes in later this afternoon and evening and then really comes charging across the central plains tomorrow. So. It's certainly uh, all indications, every computer model has big thunderstorms develop in Kansas this afternoon. Our challenge now is just to be at the right place at the right time. We think northeast moving storms maybe roughly 35 miles an hour or so, so it should give us an opportunity to get behind them and stay on them. They won't be moving all that fast, so that's a good thing. In the meantime, folks, be aware of your weather today. Keep in mind there could be tornadoes threatening through the evening and even maybe after dark, so know where you would go to stay safe. For now, with Dr. Greg Forbes, I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis near Salina, Kansas. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, you know, this is one of those days when you really need to keep it tuned to the Weather Channel. Just really pay attention because we're going to be looking at possibly a pretty volatile situation by this afternoon. Yeah, that's right. And it's not just today. We're talking about it lasting for the next several of days. days. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm.